Hey everyone, Sarah Hanlon here with AndroidAppsReview.com and today we're taking a look at Railroad Crossing, which is a really fun simulation game for Android. It's available to download from Google Play for free and what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how it works. Unlike most railroad simulators, Railroad Crossing takes a different approach. Instead of being at the controls of a train, you're actually at the controls of Railroad Crossings. So this is the main screen of Railroad Crossing, and you can see the menu is pretty straightforward. At the bottom of the screen you can see you can play a challenge mode, endless mode, multiplayer, you can check out the store, and you can also view options. So we'll go ahead and tap challenge, and you can choose between two countries. Currently it's India and the United States, and we'll go ahead and tap India. Currently, you can only access India, you can only open the United States if you complete 20 levels in the previous country, being India, or you buy the in-app purchase upgrade for $2, which also disables ads. So you can see, menu layout here is pretty straightforward. All of your levels go numerical order. You can see we have 40 levels in India. You can choose whichever level you want to play. You go ahead and tap it and the game loads. And this is the screen. So you see here you have up in the top you have the number of points you've earned and then on the right over here you can see how many cars have successfully crossed. And all you have to do is tap on each gate to open or close them and you see there level failed because a train approached and a car went through. So essentially the whole goal of the game is to keep cars from getting hit by trains. Pretty simple. Go ahead and restart. So you can also see on the tracks usually an indicator will pop up when a train is approaching which gives you plenty of time to close the gates and make sure cars don't get hit by trains. You can see here Railroad Crossing is supported by ads. Not too intrusive though. Plus they're easy to close. And then from here you can progress to the next level and you can blast through all 40 levels fairly quickly. I'd say it takes two or three minutes per level as long as you meet the level requirements. And what I do like about Railroad Crossing is the levels get progressively harder. So you see here a train is coming. And one of the things I noticed with my screen is the controls are fairly sensitive. Might just be because I'm using an older device and my taps aren't as responsive. But I'm sure on newer devices this isn't an issue. But for me, I noticed sometimes it just takes quite a few taps in order to get the game to respond. And I don't know if you saw it previously, but you can see here we have our indicator that a train is coming. Go ahead and close the gates. Be sure not to lock any cars <laughs> in, inside the gates and the train can pass through safely. Once the train's through, see if you can sneak a few cars through before the level ends and the level is complete. You can see Railroad Crossing also has endless modes and multiplayer is currently under development so hopefully that will be released shortly. And you can check out the store where you can purchase the United States and unlock a bunch of new levels, new cities, and also disable ads. As far as overall thoughts on Railroad Crossing, I think it's a really fun game. Like I said, it's a nice twist on the simulation genre, where usually with train simulators you're actually controlling the train. This time you have to be pretty careful and control the gates. So the fate of the people rests in your hands. <laughs> um, it's a great time waster. Uh, it's a very fun game to play, and like I said, it gets progressively harder. So if you're up for a challenge, I definitely recommend checking out Railroad Crossing. 
Again, Railroad Crossing is available to download from Google Play for free and is designed for Android. This has been Sarah Hanlon with AndroidAppsReview.com taking a look at Railroad Crossing. Till next time!